Hey everyone, welcome back to another Beast of the Mesozoic Tyrannosaur series review. Today we're taking a look at the 135 scale Kickstarter exclusive Walking with Dinosaurs Tyrannosaurus Rex. I'm very happy David decided to do a couple Tyrannosaur figures in 135 scale. I love the 118 scale Rex, but that figure is an absolute workout to try to pose. They take up so much shelf space and the 135s are just an absolute pleasure to handle and play around with. Speaking of 118 scale T-Rexes, I still have the standard edition I need to review. That would be my third 118 scale Rex at the review, and I am actually kind of dreading it. Now getting back to this figure, if you couldn't tell by the title, this was one of the Kickstarter exclusives for the Tyrannosaur series, the other being the Dino Riders T-Rex. So if you did not back this during the Kickstarter, unfortunately you are out of luck. The only way you're going to be able to acquire one of these if someone's selling it or you're going to have to go over to evil bay and pay a lot more than what this figure costs i think this one cost around 70 dollars we all know the dino riders monoclonius uh kickstarter exclusive is highly sought after i think it, i've seen it between like 150 and 200 dollars and this figure right here will definitely be climbing in price as supplies of it dries up so let's go with the package really quick before we crack this figure open i love the packages David does for these, you know, homage of previously existing toys. Uh, this whole packaging is very similar to the uh, Toy Way Walking with Dinosaur figures. Those figures came out a long time ago. I actually have a few of them. Fortunately, I can't find my T-Rex figure for comparisons later on. It must still be at a box at my mom's house. But yeah, really, really beautiful artwork on the front. We've got nice artwork with the T-Rex. Uh, the Beast of the Mesozoic logo is in the Walking with Dinosaur font. It is standing over a fallen... Hadrosaurus, probably an Edmontosaurus. And let's take a look at the top of the box. Beast of the Mesozoic. Tyrannosaur, action of Tyrannosaurus, action figure on the original Toy Way packaging. It did not say Tyrannosaurus Rex. It just said Tyrannosaurus. So nice attention to detail on that. Side of the box, we get another picture of the T-Rex. And on the back, we have beautiful artwork, uh, photos of the T-Rex and all the other figures available in Wave 1. Uh, Dai Long, Guanlong, and Tyrannus uh, should be shipping in another couple months or so. And then over here, we do have some more artwork. Let me just turn this over to the side right here. I love how it says, you know, Beast of the Mesozoic, but it's in the font of the BBC. And this sleeve is removable. My camera just does not like focusing lately. And to remove the sleeve, and we get a nice view of the window box with the T-Rex figure front and center and let's just spin it around the back in the back of the box you have all the figures available in wave one so enough about this beautiful beautiful package i absolutely love how it came out let's crack this t-rex open and take a closer look and here is the rex fully unboxed and i have to say i absolutely love this thing walking with dinosaurs was a huge part of my teenage years when it came out in the 90s it was one of the best dinosaur documentaries up until prehistoric planet came out so it's really really awesome to have a scientifically accurate figure that's a homage to the walking with dinosaurs t-rex now the color scheme some people did complain uh complain when it was first revealed that was a little bit too bright but you know let's face it the uh wwd rex uh looked like a cat turd bacon in the sun it was very bland looking so i'm really appreciating these like brighter more contrasting colors on here it really makes it stand out and yes you know at a glance it does look like the walking with dinosaurs rex um you know the whole body is this almost black color it's a very very dark brown and you have brown striping along the back uh all the uh ornamentation on the head is done in a nice bone white color you have some beautiful pattern along the thighs and along the tail so all around a really great figure and i have to say the 135 is such a pleasure to play around with compared to the 118 scale um you can see this one has no problem standing on one foot i actually left this for like over 24 hours in this pose and it shows no sign of falling over i don't recommend that you leave it in these poses long especially on the shelf you know i'm falling over and knocking a bunch of figures over but it is much much more stable than the 118 scale and now for some measurements this figure is 14 and a half inches long from the tip of the tail to the tip of the snout or 36.8 centimeters about five and a half inches tall and just under 14 centimeters so t-rex in real life is estimated to be over 40 feet long or 12.4 meters so i'll put this figure nicely in the 134 scale range which is just under the 135 scale that this figure was striving for 
And just like every current Beast of the Mesozoic figure, you do get a nice collector card featuring that beautiful art that's on the box. And on the back, you do have some facts about T-Rex. And here are all the accessories that come inside the box. The exact same accessories. If you've got the 118 scale Rex, you do get a pair of articulated feet. The ones that come on the figure are solid to help with stability. You do get some nice ankle movement, some side to side. You've got knee joint up here and the foot can go side to side and up and down. And you can pop the feet off and then use this ball joint right here. You can pop on. One of the alternate feet, this is the walk in motion foot. And then the other foot variant you get is the feet off the crown one. I, I don't know, the toes are closed on this one. So you can get some different looks with all these different feet. And let's take a quick look at the display base. A really, really nice display base. Lots of nice paint detail on here. Nice dry brushing on the rocks to make them look lifelike. You do have some moss on here and some sticks and uh, roots painted in very very nicely done love the texture on here you do have two steel rods for the feet to plug into on the underside it is hollow and you just want to get the feet of your rex there the holes are only on the solid feet so you just plug it in for the hole let's you know get the camera to focus in on that and just push it in push it in push it in that's what she said and then there you go it will stay on the base and using those additional legs you can get the figure in some pretty neat poses and yes it can stand without the base using those solid legs and now let's zoom in take a look at some of the finer details on this figure started with this beautiful head sculpt lots of sculpted scale detail all over the head you have larger pressure sensitive scales at the front of the stout some large scales line in the lip region you have an osteoderm right here on the cheek all that bony ornamentation is decked out in bone white paint and let's get the light on the eye you do have a red eye with a black pupil love the red eye look on a t-rex you see all that black plastic has a nice wash over it with brown to bring out all that scale detail you can see the ear canal sculpted in right here and let's take a look from the front get some nice binocular vision it almost looks cute from the front doesn't it and then open it up the mouth we do get some real nice details with the teeth teeth are pretty sunken into the gums i think it's a very very cool look let's get the camera to focus in on that and then inside the mouth you get some some real nice glossy red paint you even got the nasal passages sculpted on the roof of the mouth and some nice details for the tongue gums and back of the throat and then going down to the neck some nice folds and wrinkles this is the hoodie a lot of people don't like, you know, because from the front you can see, you know, it basically looks like the T-Rex is wearing a hoodie, especially when you start moving the uh, head around. It just, you know, looks a little bit gappy. You know, it's not the biggest deal in the world, but I know a lot of people didn't, don't like it. And my dog's barking when I'm doing this. But yeah, it is what it is. Maybe, you know, somewhere down the road, maybe David will design the uh, neck and we'll have a you know, version two release. So yeah, you get to spend more money. Uh, anyways, going down to the back, you can see that nice yellowish brown striping along the neck back and just around the hip region going down to the sides some nice very proportionate scale detail nice folds and wrinkles arms are nice and puny the hand claws are decked out in a dark glossy brown paint on the side of the throat is decked out in deep red coloration then we get to the belly region goes to a more cream color a little bit black speckling on the edges of that Going down to the thighs, nice powerful looking thighs, nice folds and wrinkles, very powerful looking calf muscles, got some striping along the base of the feet. Toe claws are also done in that glossy brown paint. Here's the underside of the feet, on the side of the feet have some nice details on it. And then going to the tail region, same thing, nice folds and wrinkles, nice pattern with that cream color. You got a little bit of rusty orange uh, outline in the, uh, the black of the tail going all the way down to the very tip. And then right here, we have to do our dinosaur butthole check. There's a nice little cloaca slit. So yeah, all in all, a very nice, proportionate, well-sculpted T-Rex figure. Now, for articulation, mouth can open up that far. Clothes completely flush. Head can move up, can move down a little bit. I wish the joint on the head uh, was on more of like a hinge joint so you could get some really nice 
upward and downward moving, but it's pretty limited and it's a little bit restricted by that hoodie. Inside the mouth, the tongue is articulated, but for some reason on mine, I feel like the paint dried around the ball joint. That's about the highest I can get it, and then it sinks back down. Really not a big deal. Should be able to stick out a little bit further. That's probably just my copy. Uh, for the neck joint right here, you get some side to side, up and down with movement. For the arms, arms can move forwards and backwards. They can swing out a little bit. You get a nice bend at the elbow joint. No wrist articulation. That's the only articulation the 135 is missing versus the 118 scale. For the mid-torso joint, you get some up and down and some side-to-side -side movement. For the hips, you get some backwards movement and forwards movement. At the knee joint, you get a nice bend at the knee. These are the solid legs. We already covered the articulated legs a little bit earlier for the tail. Up, down, side to side. On the joint, same thing. Up, down, side to side. And same thing for the third joint on the tail. And this part right here has a bendy wire so you can pose it in different positions. So all around, the articulation is good. I wish it was a little bit better, especially on the bigger ones. Uh, like I have ratchet joints in these because the 118 scale Rexes have a lot of trouble supporting their weight. Now, for comparisons, here is Collecti's 140 scale human figure to see how you know big T-Rex was in real life. And next up, here it is with the, ooh, that was the Dinoritis Rex that just fell over. Um, here it is with the old Rosaurus T-Rex figure. These were kind of like the precursor uh, to the Beast of Mesozoic. These came out in the late 90s. They were articulated dinosaur figures. Uh, definitely not as articulated as these newer Beast of Mesozoic one, but it's kind of cool to see these two together. And next up here is the old Bullyland T-Rex, which was had the same color scheme as the Walking with Dinosaur one. You can see it is really not that bright. This is actually probably more accurate to how it appeared in the show, so that's why I don't mind this more vivid color uh, homage. Uh, that David did. And next up here is Rebor's Kiss, their take on a 135 scale T Rex. And next up here is Beast of Mesozoic Sub Adult 118 Triceratops, which also can sub as a 135 adult Triceratops to go along with the 135 Rex figures. And this Rex wasn't the only walking with dinosaur homage that Beast of the Mesozoic did. Here it is with their Taurosaurus, which is 118 scale and absolutely dwarfs this T-Rex. Uh, you know, seeing the figures like this, you know, I love the 118 scale. They're big, huge, impressive figures. But, you know, playing around with a 135 Rex figure kind of makes me wish the entire line was done in 135 scale. It'll be a little bit easier on the wallet and we probably get more species and we probably would have sauropods uh, right now if the line was 135 scale. And I know a lot of people would like to see the 118 scale Rex uh, with this color scheme. Maybe somewhere down the line David will decide to do that because I would like to see that because it would scale nicely uh, with the Taurosaurus. And there's actually another walk with dinosaur homage, the Pachyrhinosaurus. I actually did not pick up that figure yet. It was a uh, rough holiday season for me, but I eventually picked that one up. And when I do, I will review it on the channel. But the best part of having this 135 Rex, you know, most of our dinosaur figures are roughly uh, in the 135 scale range. So it does scale really nicely with a lot of figures in our collection. Here is PNSO's Taurosaurus, and I think they look really, really nice next to each other. And let's do one more 135 scale figure. Here it is with Ancestors model Edmontosaurus. Oh my god, I almost called it an Anatosaurus. Oh, what's wrong with me today? But yeah, here it is with their Edmontosaurus. It shows you how big, you know, Edmontosaurus was compared to T-Rex. It was not an easy prey for it to tackle. And next up, here it is with my gray T-Rex that I sent to the Jurassic Park compound that was done in the old Kenner Young Rex color scheme. And lastly, here it is with the 118 scale Kickstarter exclusive Dino Riders T-Rex. You can see the huge size difference between these two figures. And there's also a huge price difference. The regular 135 scale Rex retails, I think, for around like 70 bucks. And the 118 scales retail for around 220 So if you've been on the fence about getting any of these figures and you don't want to spend a lot of money, you'll be fully satisfied with the 135 scale Rex 
Uh, it's a great figure to play around with. It's actually much more fun uh, than this big boy right here, even though I absolutely love that figure. It is a workout to get into good poses uh, and just to mess around with. But the 135 is an absolute delight to play with. So final thoughts on the Beast of the Mesozoic Kickstarter exclusive Tyrannosaurus series, Walking with Dinosaurs, Tyrannosaurus Rex. It's a wonderful figure. I really, really am enjoying these 135 scale Rexes. They're so much fun to play around with. I feel like they have uh, much more balance and posing options than their 118 scale counterparts. And Walk With Dinosaurs is one of my favorite dinosaur documentaries of all time. So it's really nice to have a very well done figure of the T-Rex from that series. Now, since this was a Kickstarter exclusive, if you didn't order one during the Kickstarter, you're probably out of luck trying to obtain this figure unless you see a couple pop up on eBay or someone selling one, but you're probably going to pay a lot more than what the regular retail price was. So if you're trying to get one, just go for the standard 135 scale. It's still a beautiful looking figure. And I'll leave the link down below for the standard 135 down below in the description. So that will do it for the review. I've been really slow this month cranking out reviews. I haven't gotten a lot of stuff in. Plus I was really busy around the Christmas time and you know, hate the holidays, get a little bit burnt out, but I'm back. Uh, I got the 118 scale Rex, which I'm working my way up to reviewing because I am dreading doing that for a third time. I got a lot of Hammond collecting stuff coming in from Big Bad Toy Store. So I should have a bunch of new reviews uh, popping up on the channel. Actually got some new collecting stuff coming in. So yeah, we're going to get this channel back on track really, really soon. So as always, if you're enjoying the content on this channel, show your support by hitting that subscription button just below the video. Each subscription helps out the channel tremendously and it's greatly appreciated. And I'll see you guys for the next one.